Have you ever wondered why sometimes you get cold called about your mobile phone contract when it's about to expire, but the people who are calling you are not your mobile phone operator? A revelation that staff at T-Mobile UK illegally passed millions of customer records to third parties might explain why, but this is possibly the tip of an even bigger iceberg. T-Mobile themselves say that they are not responsible for this leak, and that staff unlawfully sold the data on. But why? Well, the motivation is simple. Money. Selling someone a new mobile phone contract can earn the person selling it £100 or so, meaning that this is potentially a big business. In this case, T-Mobile themselves discovered the leak and passed the information to the Information Commissioner's Office. Their report shows a determination to prosecute those responsible for these activities, and it said that it appears the information has been sold onto several brokers and that substantial amounts of money have changed hands. T-Mobile may not be alone. It's a common complaint amongst consumers that they sometimes get confusing phone calls about contract renewals, so it may well be more than just T-Mobile employees who are breaking the law. One possible example of this type of fraud says they appear to have subscriber details. When they finally do talk to you, rather than putting the phone down, they greet you by name. The caller claimed to be working for O2. Our attempts to talk to a supervisor at the caller's company resulted in the caller putting the phone down. In this case, they do seem to know the name of the subscriber. In this particular case, the phone had been previously with Vodafone and then transferred to T-Mobile. Or in another example, I finally managed to answer a call from these people saying that they're calling on behalf of O2 regarding my contract. I pointed out that I have nothing to do with O2, seeing as I'm with T-Mobile, and quoted the Data Protection Act to have my details removed from their systems and receive no further calls. A very grumpy fine from the gentleman at the other end, and he hung up. One problem is that these so-called leads tend to get sold on and resold through several different companies, so stolen data can effectively be laundered and resold to legitimate call centres and carriers. By the time the poor consumer is hassled by cold calling, the true perpetrators of the data theft are concealed behind several layers of confusion. So how much are these leads worth? Our research shows that a single customer's details can be worth between 50p to £2, depending on the type of customer. And although that doesn't sound like much, when you consider that hundreds of thousands or perhaps millions of records have been plundered, then this looks like it's a very serious fraud indeed.